welcome back to our channel. I'm Dr. Carol, this is Dr. Meg, and today we want to talk to you about some tools for working from home during this time when we're not getting out as much as we used to. It's an unusual time period for many. Some people are transitioning to fully working at home, and some of them are doing a hybrid, working from home part-time, working at the office part of the time, and it's a different setup. You know, in the beginning, what we heard from our patients uh, often was that working from home, they were, thought it was temporary. So they were just working at their kitchen table or working at their island in their kitchen or their dining room table, and the ergonomics were not good. Unfortunately, as that has evolved, people haven't changed the ergonomics at home. They're working longer periods at home. They're continuing to work at home, but they aren't changing how their workstation is set up. So there are a number of things you can do to make the stress of working from home more easeful in your body. And one of the primary things that is, I think is most important to do is, if you can, to get a stand-up station. You want to be able to have times during the day where you can stand up and continue working. And there's a lot of different solutions out there. There's a very desk, there's all kinds of different ways you can have a platform that your laptop sits on that will lift up to allow you to stand up. And the other critical component with a stand-up station is that you have a good mat to stand on. You need to have a good mat to go along with standing. If you're just standing on a wood floor or a concrete floor if you're in your basement, it's not really going to be as beneficial as if you can have a good absorbent mat that you're standing on. And make sure you've got shoes on, not bare feet or slippers, because that's not going to be as effective ergonomically for your body to support all of the curves in your spine and take stress off your body. So a stand-up station is one of the primary recommendations we have in terms of making the ergonomics of working from home more easeful in your body. One of the things that Dr. Mike just alluded to with this putting shoes on, I feel like it's also what I've been hearing quite a bit, it's really important to get ready for work, dress up. You know, you may not put on your normal outfits that you used to put on, but differentiate for your physiology that I am now at work and I will let go of what else I'm doing and I'm gonna focus here in this, you know, the way that you used to do. I think that's important for your mindset to really be ready to do that. And I think a very good point that she mentioned too is changing things up. So things in motion stay in motion, things that are not in motion stay stuck. So make sure that you, you know, maybe when you were at the office, you got up to go to the water cooler and get some water, or you went and got up and went like a half a block in a, in a, in a hallway to go to the bathroom. Those things may not be happening because everything's right there for you. So you wanna make sure that you take breaks, set your computer, set your clock, at the 10 minutes to the hour, get up, get up, stop your brain from thinking of what you're doing for the moment, get up and walk around the house if you have to. Um, do something that really switches up your brain capacity to come down out of cortisol and high stress if it is, and allow yourself to get better balance. So movement and taking breaks and dressing up and getting ready for your day so that your brain knows that when you finish your day, you might take off those work clothes and settle back into a different atmosphere even though you're still in the same place. So the ergonomics of your workstation at home are really critical. The next video that we show on this channel is going to show you how you want to have the ergonomics set up so that it's not creating stress for you. And that's a really critical component. A lot of Workplaces have a ergonomics professional who comes in and sets up your workstation for you. You can do that at home, you just need to have the right information. So in the next video, we're gonna go over all of the positions and the setup so that you can have an ergonomically healthy workstation at home as well. Because that's a really critical component. I think we're gonna be staying working at home. Some of you will be staying working at home and many who are going to transition back, that may not happen for a little while. So you, even if it feels like it's a temporary situation, you want to set it up so that it, it's still work. you're still spending eight hours a day there. So even that's just, if that's for a week or two weeks or two months, it needs to be set up so that it's going to work with your physiology so that it's not going to be stressful on your body. 
is the biggest thing that we are seeing as we're working with um, people who are working at home is the stress that they're experiencing in their neck and their shoulders. And a lot of that is because their workstations are not set up properly. So that is a really, really key piece. And the idea of taking breaks is a really important one because you want to make sure that there are periods of time where you're not stuck in this position, which is how we get, we get focused on our screen, we get caved in this way, and that's, it's shutting everything down. This is where we breathe from, this is where we feel from, this is where we digest from. And if you're closing in, you're not allowed for the same capacity of expression in any of those areas. So we're going to go over some of those stretches as well that you can do while you take those breaks that Dr. Carroll talked about so that you can make the workplace situation at home as easeful as possible. And recognize that this is a stressful time for you, for all of us. And some people don't love working at home. They are social people and working from home is stressful. So for those of you who are missing that social interaction, you need to try to build that in. A Zoom call isn't really quite the same thing as a face-to-face -face interaction. So on your lunch break, set up a time to go for a walk with somebody, to meet them for a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or water break. Whatever it is you need to do, go have a chat with your neighbor. So those social interactions are really important for our mental health as we continue to work from home. So now it's not gonna be as organic as in an office setting, so you need to intentionally build that into your day. Tune in to our next video and you can see firsthand how to set up the ergonomics of your workstation, how to have stretches built into the breaks that you're going to take, and make sure that you're keeping your body as stress-free as possible as you work from home. Thanks for tuning in.